My name is Martha Davis, uh, and I'm a psychologist who developed this film with a team of professional filmmakers. It's about the role of psychologists, physicians, psychiatrists in the torture program, the U.S. torture program in Guantanamo, Abu Ghraib, and various uh, detention sites. Tell us what um, the behind the scenes of the film, how long it took to get everything together and turn it into a production where it's being screened here tonight for people. Okay, well the film took about three years of research uh, that I did and then we did production for about two year, a year and a half, two years, uh, post-production for another year. Uh, it came out uh, two years ago and it's been in screening uh, in the United States and now in internationally. Uh, for, for two years and uh, that's where we are so far. Mm -hmm. What's the response been from places you've been at where it's been screened, from different people who saw it? Um, uh, can you describe some of those? Right. If you can? Well, the f we showed the film a lot, especially initially at medical schools and law schools in the United States. Um, but e even when it, uh, al almost every audience, the um, the reaction is, I can't believe how extensive, uh, I had no idea how extensive the role of the doctors w has been in the covering up of the torture, in the devising of the torture techniques, in the monitoring of them, uh, in the, in, in this, that it's become institutionalized within the CIA and the Department of Defense. Uh, so there's sort of two movements going now uh, about this. One, of course, is the close Guantanamo, close, uh, to try to reverse some of the, you know, the uh, incarceration of people endlessly who, who aren't even terrorists in great numbers, and especially in Guantanamo where they're, you know, there's most of the men re readied for release and approved for release and it's years now. Uh, so that's a very important part of the movement, but the other part of the movement is among healthcare professionals in the United States uh, and different uh, physicians for human rights and different groups trying to get the Department of Defense to re reverse these policies and to stop putting doctors in the interrogations of detainees and stop uh, involving nurses and doctors in, uh, in psychologists in the administration of the, uh, when this, the hunger strikes, the force feeding of the hunger strikes, which is done in a very brutal way. So there's a number of uh, issues that have happened and developed a number of programs since 9-11 that have been really disastrous for the healthcare professions as a whole in the United States and are, have implications for the, for the uh, healthcare professions. Just to wrap it up here, where can people find um, the website to check out a trailer of the film and a screening in their area? How can they put a screening in their area for more people to see the film and uh, more information about that? Um, www.doctorsofthedarkside.com, all one word. Uh, there's trailers and some shorts on the, on the website. There's a study guide on the website for the issues. Uh, it, it's available on iTunes, it's available from Amazon in download or in DVD. Uh, and if, if you want, like this, to have a, a screening with a group, you can. Uh, there's a place for hosting a screening and uh, for the public performance rights for that is avail uh, available. Redress of grievance against my own government because they're claiming sovereign immunity, they're claiming executive privilege, they're claiming state secrets. It somehow supersedes my rights as an individual. We don't have a First Amendment. There is no freedom of the press. All of my notes about our meeting are deemed classified and then they go through a review, a classification review, and the government decides what can be made public and what has to stay secret.